Hi, this is Darks from Darks Underground, and we're here to talk about uh, the Outlander GT Cup. So, for this character here, she's got a uh, Teddy Face Shift and Seismic Smash. Um, so, this build we're going to be doing today is going to be focusing more on the Teddy than anything else. Um, but the Face Shift and Seismic Smash does come in handy for this. So, um, so you'll notice on this for the cooldown, it's a 36 second cooldown normally when you uh, when you initially launch a Teddy. And uh, yeah, we're going to cut that right back today on this. So um, yeah, this is going to be uh, quite an interesting little uh, look-see at uh, what you can actually do with your Teddy. So otherwise, her perk for this character, uh, as a commander, is under warranty plus. Teddy has a 100% crit chance against new targets and has a 5% chance to malfunction. During the malfunction, uh, Teddy will find a new target after every shot and zap nearby enemies for 51 base energy damage and zap targets deal 51 base energy damage to surrounding enemies. So um, yeah, it's uh, quite a nasty sort of a bear when it does actually malfunction, but even when it's uh, not, that 100% crit chance with every first shot is just fantastic. But anyway, we'll uh, pop into some gameplay. I'll get a couple of charge fragments before we start and um, yeah, we'll show you what we can do with this. All right, so I've got a few charge fragments now ready to go and um, we'll let the Teddy launch and you'll see the cooldown's gonna be uh, quite significant. Um, so from when I drop the Teddy, uh, oh, we'll get rid of this little fella first. There we go. So by the time the cool off uh, kicks in and finishes, um, you'll see that it's uh, yeah, down quite drastically. The other good thing with Teddy's too, hide behind him, um, it's actually a shield, so it's quite handy. So three seconds and next Teddy. So seven, six, five, four, three, gone. And back again. So as soon as you start gaining some frag, uh, fragment charges, it's absolutely fantastic. So you've virtually got a bear anytime you need it. And another one. So quite a lot of fun with this guy. So, as you've noticed, Teddy looks a little bit different too. So it actually matches the uh, one you can see on the backpack. So yeah, not too bad. A um, little bit of different dialogue as well for this Teddy. Right, yeah, very, very handy to have around. So if you like your abilities and you like your Teddies, this is just absolutely fantastic. But in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll leave it there and we'll get back to the uh, out of the game and we'll have a look at the build and what we've got going on here. All right, so we're back now, and we'll have a look and see what we've got for the build here. Uh, go through a little bit more detail and show you where to find the heroes necessary to do this. Okay, doke. So, um, so we've got obviously Jilly Teacup. So she's part of the, new, the current quest line at the moment. So if you go to your quests and have a look, uh, it's not Season Hauntings under the Misfit Toys. 
and she's the second last reward for the uh, quest line there. So it's actually pretty easy, basically all simple straightforward fetch quests. Um, and most of them can be done in a single game per, per match, so it's actually pretty quick and easy. We're using the team perk here of Happy Holidays. And now when you get uh, Jilly Teacup, this is actually a perk that you'll get straight away with her. So you can use it on any build you want. I've tried on a few now. It's actually been uh, quite interesting. Um, but here, so what happens is it's your ability cooldowns go down by 40%. And it actually stacks independently. So what that means is, I said, if you've got any other kind of cooldowns, um, this guy will then add on top of that. So, um, yeah, so you can get some really short cooldowns. I've seen phase shifts of one second and, and various things. So I've got it on a uh, going commando build with a um, either a five or a ten second cooldown, depending on how the loadout's set up. Um, but I digress. We'll go back onto the rest of it here. Uh, so we've got the overbearing perk. Okay, so, and that's from Ventura Ramirez. Oop, my bad. And, uh, bear with me. So this is from uh, Jingle Jess. Impossibility Matrix. And that's from All Glory AC. Fragment Generation, so that's from Fragment Flurry Jess. And Survivalist from Survivalist Jonesy. So these perks, what they're doing is, uh, with the overbearing, um, Teddy's range is now increased, and uh, enemies will take more damage based on the distance. So it actually shoots quite a distance away, so it does more damage further away. Um, so in camera runs, it does all right, but um, if it's doing base defense and the enemies are coming in, um, it actually gets quite, quite... Um, Quite high numbers there. Uh, the bear with me increases the duration of the teddy by four seconds. Impossibility matrix. Every time you use a, a charge fragment, it'll actually reduce the cooldowns a bit more. So another ten percent again. So it's already now fifty percent. Uh, fragment generation. So what that will do is it'll give you one charge fragment. So this is what you really need to make this uh, character shine. Um, so with that there, spinning your fragments, gaining them, so Teddy can shoot, 39 enemies down, which is usually pretty easy. Um, another frag chargement, uh, frag, fragment charge. And survivalist just for a bit of health. And the good thing is too, um, Teddy killing enemies does count um, for you killing them, so with that there, you're going to be healing based on Teddy killing other enemies. Uh, my generic I usually, for my gadgets, is just my stationary hover and slow field. So I always find it quite handy. So if you're looking to find some of these characters here, these extra ones, so if we'll have a look. So we'll start with the first one. We'll go into our collection book. So soldiers, so survivalist Jonesy should be in here. All right, so if you haven't got him, uh, there's a couple of ways to get him. So you can get him through missions uh, or luck through llamas as well. Uh, but you can research these guys too. So with that there, if I want to recruit this guy, as long as I've got Legendary Flux like I do at the moment and some training manuals, I can recruit this guy. So uh, Legendary Flux for Legendary Copy. Uh, if I want to recruit, recruit a Epic version because I haven't got the Flux. Um, I could do the Epic Flux. And these are always available in the store. So every week comes around, uh, lower level players probably should be buying Epic Flux as well. Uh, high level players... Always, always go to your store every week uh, and get those fragments. No, sorry, get those fluxes. So if you're looking for them. So I had the rollover today and I've already bought them. So always, always get them. So you'll get up to 50 a week. So if you save for two weeks, you'll be able to buy um, a legendary character. So for our next character... Uh, just trying to remember where we put her for that one there. She was an Outlander, I think. Yep. So, yep. So she's a campaign Outlander. Now the thing is with her, you can't research her. It's uh, earned as a quest reward. Uh, so complete the storyline campaign quest, Kenny Valley Defense Two, to unlock hero quests. Once you've unlocked those hero quests, just follow the uh, prerequisites for that, and you'll get her as a free character. And who was the next one? Okay, so Fragment Flurry Jess. She is under the event people. Under Holiday Heroes. 
So she's here. So if um, the season end, when the season ends, you should be getting any ticket, unspent tickets should be getting, uh, you should get winter llamas from what I've been told. Um, so with that there, it said you still have a chance to collect her. If not, if you've got uh, recruitment vouchers, you can recruit her as well that way. So uh, if you want to know how you get those, uh, they're just handed out occasionally by Epic. Um, once in a while, usually if something goes wrong or, um, yeah, a while ago when they'd done some changes they gave uh, i think it was five or six tickets depending on your character levels um yeah very handy to have so um yeah that's one way to get her as well and jingle jess so jingle jess is here so she's uh also can be earned through the frost night event the currently at the moment as well so um you might get lucky with some of these uh event style characters you, you might get them in the birthday llamas later in the year um also the other one we had to do was in the event people was where is he road trip uh, springtime heroes that's it so for old glory ac outlander same deal, you can recruit him with a ticket. Uh, the only other way you'll get him is usually they put him in the item shop around the uh, 4th of July, American holiday. So, and that will give you that impossibility matrix. If you can't get that, I mean, you can certainly substitute it for um, another teddy based character. So, uh, there's one they'll give you a flat 30% damage. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's actually one you start with from memory. Let's see if I can find him. Uh, command, heroes, outlanders. Um, yeah, Trailblazer AC, is it? Yep, so Trailblazer AC um, increases Teddy damage by 30%. So if you can't put old uh, Glory in there, um, yeah, that's also a good substitute as well. The only difference being is the uh, when you use a charge fragment, instead of getting that three seconds between teddies, uh, it'd be about five seconds instead. So yeah, but it's not too bad. But yeah, if you can certainly get uh, old glory, definitely a better way to go. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, any questions or anything else? Um, yeah, please let us know. And uh, hope to see you soon. This is Darks from Darks Underground saying bye for now.